Shalom Yashal, Minister of Azul, by giving all praise to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Bolonah to the Apostle GMS, and the honors to you, brothers, that are doing the work in truth while sincerity. Um, you know, the spirit just jumps on me. Um, you know, because I was just thinking, man, you know, th 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 there'll, be, there'll be times, you know, you'll be digging a woman and she ain't digging you, right? You know, and there's a term for that. It's called unrequited, uh, unrequited love. Right? It's basically when one person's into the other person, and the other person in, isn't into them. You know, you know, it's just one-sided. You know, the other person ain't feeling them like that. You know, and then um, you know, one of the things I said: six ways to get past the pain of unrequited love. Now, you know, just in case you think I'm trying to be some relationship expert, you know, I'm going to liken this to the unrequited love. That our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, has been feeling from Israel, has been getting from Israel, because here it is, the Most High loves Israel, but two thirds of Israel don't love him back. You know, and currently, you know, more than two thirds don't love him back, you know, because the one, you know, the elect hasn't been sealed yet, because we're currently on this side. You know, if the elect haven't all woken up, you know, and Jesus Jeremiah 6 and 2 says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman, right? And, you know, so basically the most high is likened us, us to a woman, man. You know, and like I was saying, for the most part, man, you read through the scriptures, you read through the history, man, Israel kept going off, man, kept going off, kept going off. So imagine how pissed off the most high is, man. You know, the scriptures say that, you know, when the Lord comes back, you, you know, all hell's going to break loose. Why? Because there is there is a need that the Most High take out his anger, man. You know, when you read the scriptures, it says, Exodus 34 and 14, says, For thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. So here it is. You know, Israel's been going off, you know, worshipping Tammuz. I mean, yesterday was fucking Saturnalia, man. So worshipping Semiramis, Nimrod and Tammuz heavy. You know, how was the majority of Israel doing that shit? You know, but the scriptures say here, the Lord is jealous. You know, and when you read Proverbs 1, this sounds like a jealous power. This is Proverbs 1 and 24. says, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded but ye have set up naught of all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, and when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right? And what did we just read here? It says, um... For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. You know, the Most High doesn't like, you know, the, the, the shit we're doing, man. You piss him off with the Lord, man. But it's literally because he's had mercy on us. You know, scriptures in Romans 3.23 says, all, I believe 3.23 says, all have sinned and come short of the glory, man. So we've all sinned, well, you know, which is why you have to thank the Most High, praise the Most High, that he's made a way. Through his son Yahweh Shai, in the world calls Jesus Christ for us to be saved, man. This is Matthew 22 and 36. It says, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Right? So basically, the Lord requires us that we love him as much as he loves us. You know, so that you don't get a case of unrequited love. You know, so that it's 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 a it you know it's a two way thing. Hey man, there's nothing worse than digging a woman who ain't digging you, man. You're investing time trying to you know trying to slide in those DMs, man. So just imagine how the most high how your how feels, man. And this is why it says this in Zechariah 13 and 8, it says, And it shall come to pass, then all the land saith, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Right, because two-thirds of Israel on this side isn't going to love the Lord. 
ain't gonna be down with your howl. And for that reason, they must die. Yeah, so I'm gonna say Shalom.